Welcome back, friends. In my previous video, I explained all the stuff about the quantum numbers. And now, let's look on the shapes of atomic orbitals. As we said here that every atomic orbital has its own shape. S is spherical. P has its own shape. D, F, and etc. I can explain it more also in another video but for now let's look just simply on the shape shapes of atomic orbital so each orbital has got its specific shape as I described shape of the s orbital the shape of s orbital is spherical this is because the electron density around the nucleus is symmetrical the size of the shape of s orbital increases with the increase in the principal quantum number each energy level has got s orbital each energy level has got s orbital so for example one s as you can see it at the left here one s is small two s becomes larger 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 and larger so the energy of the s orbital increases with the increase in the principal quantum number so the energy of one s is smaller than two s is smaller than three s so s orbital is just spherical and the size of though that spherical orbital increases with the increase in the number or in the principal quantum number the shape of p orbital now it is better if you claim this because sometimes they ask you in the exam to draw this so p orbital the shape of p orbital p orbital is dumb shell dumbbell shape d so the p orbital have three orientation three orientation it can be z it can be x and it can be y as you can see here z it is vertical x it is horizontal and y it is somewhat like diagonal that is p orbital so you must know this is the year then d orbital the shape of d orbital is dumb double dumb bell so here this in the p orbital it is a dumb bell not dumb shell d orbital is a double dumb bell shape the d orbitals have five orientation in space which are d x y d y z d z x d square minus y square and d z square d x y orbital appear like this so i can explain more about this but maybe for you be illustrating them on the board it's easier to to draw them rather than here in the picture is how they are appearing but d y z d y z appear like this if you're looking at them they have a certain kind of difference they have a certain kind of, of difference if you're looking on the indication of the y line x line and z line then if you want to know about the d x y you can see how they have oriented uh, they they have lied the x and the y line there between between the orbitals but here it is x and z line but the y line it is as if it doesn't involve the orbitals in the d z x as you can see here d z x orientation z and x then d x square minus y square it appears like this here as you can see this y crosses the orbitals but in d z square orbit this is almost distinct from other orbitals so that's all about the shapes of atomic orbitals very short video but you can upload another piece of illustration and i can upload also 
another piece explaining about this. Thank you everybody. Welcome to my Telegram group. Click the link below or copy it and paste it in your in your browser. Then open it with Telegram. We access notes. These notes they are labeled as general chemistry too. We access them free in PDF and we use them. Ask you questions, do anything, comment in the videos and I wish you nice studies. Thank you.